we were always looking for ways, how do we bring people together? Not just you know, to get business done, right? But how do we create a good, engaging, fun, connected environment? We're here with you, Steve, today because we wanted to ask you about your experience with Grin Events, formerly known as Game Night San Diego. We have John, our founder here. Um, and John, what I'd love is for you to introduce yourself and then give us a brief explanation of what a virtual game show is. All right, my name is John Grindle. I am the chief purveyor of fun at Grin Events. So we're all about having fun. Um, you know, we started off with uh, in-person events and now we do a lot of virtual events for obvious reasons now that we're in the midst of a global, global pandemic. So one of the questions I get asked basically every single day is how does a virtual event work? And one of our most popular events is the virtual game show. And it doesn't really matter the size of the, of, of the group. It could be a small group of 15 people or it could be a, a larger group of you know 200 plus people and kind of everything in between. The first step is to get everybody into the Zoom meeting. We'll have music playing. We have people, our staff are greeting people with a smile, you know, creating some banter, just getting everybody comfortable and realizing from the second that they click on the, the link that they're going to have a fun time and it's going to be, they have the permission to, you know, have fun. And then it's a combination of what I call the large room where we have everybody. We have all 50 or 100 people in the large room together, plus small group interaction. That dynamic has really worked well. It's intimate and personalized, but it's big and flashy and fun and exciting. That's kind of what we've, what we've designed and, and what has worked up to this point. Steve, you by far are our favorite. Can I say that? Okay. Yes. Our no. most frequent flyer when it comes to the virtual game shows. And yeah. um, you're actually the first ever virtual game show client. Um, what was going on at Dome Events at the time, you know, when COVID hit and, and people went remote? And what was going on that made you hire at the time Game Night San Diego? It was back in March, April of 2020 when everybody was, hey, got to start working remotely. And, um, you know, one of the things that was, was noticeable right away was this disconnectedness of everybody that, that once congregated to an office and that's where the energy was. And, and, um, over the course of the, you know, a month or two, and when, when it became pretty clear that, Hey, this thing was going to go on for a long time, we were always looking for ways. How do we bring people together? not just you know to get business done right but how do we create a good engaging fun connected environment because culture is so huge for our organization and uh, we knew we needed to find different ways to bring people together to have fun not to work but to have fun and uh, there was a couple of different ideas that were floating around and grin events was an obvious fit for what we needed which was fun the engagement and the ins and the outs and the choreography of it was was really quite stunning. And I remember afterwards reaching back out to our CEO, kind of getting his feedback. And he was the same way. He's like, wow, this is how does he how did he pull this off? Right. Your ability to riff off the crowd. That is so important because it just draws people in. You know, this isn't just some corporate like dry game thing. This is totally interactive. Why do you think so many people now at Dome have become, you know, for lack of a better term, grin brand ambassadors? Like, it seems like you guys keep on inviting John and his team back to do these events. Why is that? It started as this initial, let's, let's just see how it goes. That led to a birthday party thing for somebody in that works for Dome and thought, Hey, this is a great way to bring my family together, right? For a family reunion event. And of course, our CEO has, has utilized the Grin event service a couple of times for some of his, you know, kind of outside of work events. And, and we've done three or four um, since then of company level events. But what do you think the 
benefit of having Grin do multiple events at Dome is because I think there's a lot of companies that are going to say, we did this virtual game show once. It was really fun. People got to know each other a little bit better outside of work duties, but we just, we don't need to do it again. Every experience is kind of uniquely its own experience. And that plays into, because the questions, you know, you can, you can look up trivia questions anywhere and you can play trivia games where, wherever you want. That's the easy part. The, the hard part is making it feel like that person's in your room or is your friend or is part of your inner circle instantaneously. That's not an easy skill to pull off. But a couple of things I would say, not everybody could participate every single time. So having something that's that's occurring allows more people to experience it that had to miss it the first time. So anytime we do something like that, we try to do it multiple times just to try to allow the opportunity for everybody to be involved. But I also think that that the the other compelling reason to kind of keep going at it is it's a fantastic way to do charity events too. I mean, that's that's what a couple of them following on were all about. We want it. We want to you know give back and provide donations to these things. We we're going to do it anyway. Let's just have some fun while we're doing it, you know, and let people be involved in the experience. And what I'm, what I'm, we're hoping to see in 2021 is uh, some of our business development people utilize the service to create rapport and relationships with our clients um, and sort of expand it beyond just the, the walls of dome and use it in a way to, to create a good vibe on a project or a good vibe with a client. All of the hard, heavy lifting, all the hard work is, 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 is outsourced. It's done. And so you, you've got this super fun, what seems to be an elaborate event that, that somehow the organization has put on when all it is, is just it, the date and the time <laughs> go, <laughs> it just, it just happens. So I think there's from a tactical standpoint, there's nothing easier to put on than a game night event. There's one company we've done almost 20 events for them and Whoa. We're just going through, they have an internal event planner and we're just going through each department, right? Mm -hmm. So they're across the country and we're doing small events, 15, 20, 25 people at a time, but she's just going through her whole group. The one that I love the most is the, the groups that just had so much fun and they want to do it again, yeah. right? Like it's the exact same group. It's the same 30 people or 50 people. They just like, yeah, we want to do it again. That was fun. Of the ones that I participated in, my, my favorite of them all was actually the one where you went full on customized. That was just the most hilarious evening. John sent out this survey beforehand, you know, a couple of weeks ahead, said, just answer these questions. And the way that John integrated the responses into the game was just crying, laughing. So it was so good. So good. Both of you mentioned, keep on saying the word fun. And you know, at Grin Events, we say that that's what we're all about. But I'd love from both of you, both of your perspectives, why does that matter when we're talking about employees and teams and work? I am a firm believer in sort of positive psychology. So when somebody's in the right mind space, they just are more effective in everything that they're doing, whether it's their job or sports, what, what, what have you. When you, when you have a regular business meeting, don't just go right into business. Have a little banter, have a little whatever you did. Um, that's so important. And I, I think people just feel like it's just go, 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 go. You just got to keep going. And I, I don't believe in that. I don't think that that's healthy. So you got to bring fun. You got to bring joy. You got to bring a positivity to everything you do. You know, positivity can spiral up. You know, like if we're all positive, we create positivity, which creates positivity, right? And then negative negativity, we know that does the exact opposite. It spirals us down. Either it's internal negativity or group negativity. That's, you know, bad. That's bad stuff right there. But one way to get to that positivity is through fun. And that positivity, if you can build that cycle, then you got things that are just you got people that are contributing to things that you didn't even realize they were going to be able to do because they're rah-rah team. I love this company. I want to, I want to work for this company. 
if I'm grumpy old CEO and I'm like, well, why do I want my company to have fun? Well, if the answer is because it's going to make your company more successful and you're going to put more money in your pocket, sign me up. Yeah. Where, you know, if you're talking to somebody that is on the lower end, why do I want to have fun? Well, you want to have fun just to have fun. Oh, and guess what? It's going to lead to you liking your coworkers better and you're going to be more successful as an individual and that's going to contribute to the company. I think the fun, right, is a really easy way. And we talk about this, like to make social connections, especially in this weird COVID remote environment where we don't get to have lunch with each other. We don't get to see each other at the water, you know, proverbial water cooler. We don't get to have happy hours together. We're sick of Zoom, but this is like, something we can do. It's totally non-work related. We're having fun. And maybe I'm in a breakout room and on a team with, you know, Marsha from down the other department that I didn't know that well. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Marsha's hilarious. Like, this is so fun. And now I'm- Good old Marsha. Good old uh, Marsha. She's, she's such good people. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> and, and now I'm going to be more like, oh, I want to help Marsha succeed. Like, I love yeah. that you said that because I think that's absolutely true about human nature and- yeah, yep. so I just wanted to comment on that. One other thing to add on that you kind of sparked to me, that fun or, or the games piece is typically a comfortable environment, right? And so comfortable I think, and easy. I think the reason for it is you're focused on the game. So when you have your focus here, you forget to be your work self and you just are yourself and you laugh and you joke and everybody's laughing. We're having a good time. Being able to get through your work self to the real self subtly without people knowing that that's happening. It, it's super powerful. I mean, it, it really is. I know I've witnessed a couple of events of where the, you know, the event planner who John, who's John's contact said, this is a tough crowd. Like they're shy. They're like introverted. And my favorite part was, you know, 10 minutes in, you can see people kind of blossom and come out of their shell and start laughing and having a good time and like cheering and getting into it. And I think that's the the power of it, John, to your point, like the, this, the baseline secret sauce, the foundational thing is this distraction of, I don't have to worry about putting on my work face. I just get to be me in a low stakes environment that has no consequences, right? Yeah, yeah. We want to keep doing this because a big part of our broader strategic initiatives throughout the organization is breaking down silos mm. and connecting people that wouldn't normally see each other. Great or they're point. In a different department, they're in a different region. And so the, the whole point of this game is to just take all those barriers down. You might be in a random room with the person that you only ever email and in the accounting department and you're wondering who, well, Hey, that's cool. Marsha. I like you, Marsha. <laughs> so that's a good, that's a very good thing. As adults, we forget how to have fun. Yes. It's kind yeah. of like, it's almost universally known now, yeah. but we don't really think about it when you're a kid, like you're an expert at fun. If nothing else, if we can remind people that fun is important and okay, like it's okay to have fun at work with your colleagues if nothing else, that's a that's a huge win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.